what is going on everybody welcome back to my channel red light mods thanks for tuning back in we're going to be installing rgb high beam lights right here you can change them with the apps of course um got two right here plug in right there these are connections we're going to connect it straight to the battery for now but uh later on uh these are the connections right here going to the battery um red and black but later down the road we're going to run an extension wire from the fuse the accessories fuse the red one of course all the way out here so we can make that connection solid with the fuse and this will be staying with the battery anyway and um yep these are long enough to reach uh, one is short one is long to reach each high beam set of course and then i believe um it works on both android ios there's a qr code specially for them and then um yeah so let's go make sure you guys get i got a socket that says 13 by 32 I think it's a 10 millimeter. I'm not sure, but 13 by 32 on this one. It, the ground, you can open that one up first. We're gonna disconnect it completely. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, put the red wire here first. And then we're gonna connect that one there, the ground. And uh, let's put this to the side for now. And going for the high beams is right over here as you come around. Pull around real quick. And as you can see, it's right there. The blue one looks bluish. Just turn it, uh, let's see, I'll tell you guys if it's counterclockwise, should be. This one you can reach easily. Let me just disconnect it first. Just push the tab in and pull up. It's like really stiff. But you know what actually it turns towards um the right if i'm the way i'm standing it turns towards the right and then you can go ahead and plug it all right those are standard ones the yellow ones uh these are going to fit the 2018 and 2020 of course of course because the 2021 already comes with the uh, led uh, high beams um I tried changing the housing for that, but it was a bit tough. I'm not sure if you, anybody out there did it. Let me know. There's this cover right there. Take the cover off of it. So let's connect it in. And three. All right, so before you uh, install it back in, make sure it's, um, just let it stay there. You want to test out that it works. So let's do the second part right now. And you can follow the glow arm real quick. And also, guys, uh, I forgot to mention, I just loosened up this one, that um, I finally um, was unable to um, um, enable that uh, super thanks. Um, it's like a donation kind of supports the, you know, biggest fan, you support the creator's content. So if, if you guys been doing work on your court and have saved up a couple hundred thousand over time, you did your own taillights, your lighting, anything, ambient lights, you name it, you know, diffuser, spoilers, you saw yourself, and you guys wanted to thank me, finally, that under any videos you're gonna see like a little heart and it's gonna have like a money sign in there it's a super thanks it's like it just supports the content creator so if you guys want to go ahead and do that i would appreciate it and then um that would actually come in the con uh, in the comments below as well be highlighted so you're gonna stand out of course and that's that part I just wanted to mention that to you guys so now you guys can finally support me back in return <laughs> and then um taking this off just unclip this take this piece out there's just two clips holding this so just pull this up, just grab it like that, and pull this up just like this. Don't pull this up, pull just this, this gallon thing up right there, it comes off. It's super dirty, so my friend needs a little detailing done here. <laughs> All right, so it comes off just like this. And your windshield washer is fluid, bro. She empty, empty. <laughs> So yeah, that was the, um, that goes back in there, but on the side, into the grommet area, if, you, if it comes out, as you could see, the grommet area right there, you could come around me and show it to them, it's right there, down there. It actually goes right back into this rubber piece. Yep, just right there in the center. So, I wanted to show you that real quick. And then, now you could actually reach the high beams on this side, where it's right here. Yep. Uh, blue one right there so let's see which one this one turns towards 
Okay, so this one turns to the, to the right as well, the way I'm standing and turn and install it. So, turns toward the right, me being facing the car's front end. So, I'll push the clip down here and then careful not to pull the wire because the wires are pretty short on this. It's out and then the other one's going to be going in. If the headlights, uh, the high beam ones doesn't turn on, all you got to do is unplug it and turn it 180 degrees and um, plug it back in and it should work. But yeah, make sure you guys follow my IG at redlinemods.official. You guys could ask me any questions there. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, let's go test it out. Um, I'm going to go turn on the high beams real quick. Car's unlocked? Yeah. You don't? Should be. Are you on? One of them is, the other one's not. One? The one on the left. The one on the left is on? Yeah, this one. saw that, this one was on. This, one's this not one on. was not on, so like I said, if it's not good, just push the tab. Switch it around. Switch it around 180 degrees. And then you wanna go test it again. Make sure. Yep. They are bright. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are bright, bright. <laughs> so, of course, you got the white brightness of, and, as well. And then if you want to change it to different colors, you just download the app, QR code free, of course. You just got to connect this for the for the lighting and everything to work pretty much for different colors. Just make sure you guys don't flash like blue, red. Oh, the white? Yeah, white, the red, lights. and blue. You, you don't want to do that. Literally, cop lights. You don't want those flashing. That's it but i haven't heard of anybody getting pulled over for having red high beams just just for show not strobing or flash or anything like that just had them on but uh yeah so before i put them in i'm just gonna go ahead and do the connection as well and which is gonna be going to the battery first so this is the the long side will pretty much go to that side and then the short one's gonna be on the on the driver's side but i put this stuff off real quick so I have some more space to work with I got the QR codes on the module right here controller you got a what does it say you got an iOS you got the Android you got the Android other stuff all right so that's how that works all right so we'll go connect them Maybe a little bit more uh, we're just gonna cut the strip off a bit more so we could actually reach each end and then we'll come back right to you. All right, so now we're gonna go for the ground wire right here, disconnect the battery, negative. So that's disconnected now. I'm trying to put it to a side so it doesn't go back in on its own. That helps, okie doke. I'm going to take the red one. good good fit and then on to the ground one If you want to time this up, you could just do it over here. And this one, you don't have to put it there. Right here, this is the one you want to work with. But let me just go time this up right now. So I'm just taking it off, I think. There you go. That's just to hold that 
clamp over there for a negative ground wire. I think this socket is kind of worn out too, so. <laughs> yeah, this, this socket's worn out, as you can see. I've used it on so many accords, I gotta put the new one on right now. Maybe shred it off. Okay. Finally got another socket. Good thing I have a spare one on hand. It's a 10 mil mill right there, it's a 10 mil. <laughs> so, where is it? Connection right here. I know you see that fancy watch right there. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> All right, this works, guys. Um, connection going over here. The short one's gonna go over here, plug into this. Make sure the four pins line up. Not sure if that's all the way in. What? Seriously? Okay, there's a line there. I should go into it to this, and there's like a pin on this side. It should line up in there. Then it goes all the way in. All right. Lock it in. Got some power now. Time to wait ten minutes. And then um, since it's to the battery, it's just gonna be like this until you uh, shut it off from the phone. But that's why I said later on, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run the wire, black, uh, the, uh, the red wire to the fuse down the grommet area and connect it there. So it shuts off when the car shuts off. But uh, yeah, so my friend's gonna, uh, you know what, I'm gonna connect the other one too and then he's gonna test out uh, both of them, see how they change colors and everything like that. Let's connect the long side. Then you guys can just hide the wires anywhere, pretty much just not around the engine area or the, the downpipe. You just want to do it clean where it won't be melted anywhere or anything like that. So that works. So you see over here how this empty side over here, and there's one inside right there. It should match up. So that's that. Make sure it's tight. Good to go. And you want to go ahead and then um, excessive. You want to go zip zip tie it together, and then just kind of fit it, fit these three, uh, I don't know, edges or grooves. Fit it into there and then close it in. But. Right now we're gonna go and test it out. My friend's gonna test it out with this app real quick. All right, so that's done. We put the lights back in. Well, this is how we ran the wire. Underneath it, we tucked it underneath this right here in the panel. I didn't want to hang it over there or leave it anywhere. Um, you can see that it's tucked in right behind the bolt area. You can always uh, put some 3M tape to make sure it's extra secure. Ran over it. You could also run the wire underneath the intake, of course, but. Um, is there right into the wedge in the bottom and we'll put the second one in we'll just go 3m uh, we'll use some 3m tape and tape it here or anywhere on the side with the box anywhere would go it's perfectly fine in the middle you got some space here you got space here you literally have space almost everywhere with 3m tape just not on that section um but yeah we'll put we'll just tape it somewhere here and then um close on the hood and then over here which i gotta show you real quick is See this, this area, it actually clicks in right over here, right into this seam right here, it goes into that. So we wanna, we wanna make sure when it goes in, it will click in. But let's try to do that real quick while we're on camera. All right, so the grommet, it went inside, the pipe went inside the grommet area, good. And coming in this way, can hold this Let's 
So all right, so once that's in, we're good to go. This, you gotta make sure this is good and tight in its own grommet area. Where's a clip? Do you know where the clip was? I put it somewhere here, right? It's probably inside the box. I'll put the, you make sure you put the clip back here. This line goes back inside right there. And then you can literally see it come on my right side. You can literally see this to where it clicks in. You want to bring it up and you have to bring it up and back up a little bit. And you want to push it exactly just like that. It goes right in. So now it's tucked in, secured. Just popped up a little bit, but it's fine. Push it inward, just in now. Now it's inside the hole. Right there is good. We're good to go. And put the clip back in, which it's in the box, I believe. Got it. Like I said, guys, install yourself. You don't have to go to shop, pay over a hundred bucks for this quick install. So that's why I appreciate it if you guys hit that uh, super thanks button in the bottom. It's like a small heart under the videos. And that uh, speaks for itself. And then um, use some little bit longer or small zip ties to put the excessive wires, of course. So we're done with this part. It's all hooked up. Grab this phone. And once it gets dark, we're gonna go test it out, all right? We'll see if we can see the brightness and everything like that and what colors looks good. And then again, link is gonna be in the description below. So use a discount code RLM15 at checkout. That'll help you out. And until, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, wait until it gets a bit dark out. All right, this is daytime right now. That's the high beams. They're pretty bright. I can't even stare at them, so they're super bright, guys. The high beam itself is bright. Even if you just need white, bright high beams, you can get these. I can't, I'm trying to find a spot where it just shines into the camera itself. And then it changes different colors. But, um, okay, so your high beams, if you use your high beams, you won't be able to see your colors. So turn off the high beams. Because whenever you use high beams, it will shift from um, the different colors. And let's say you had red on yellow, right? Now give high beams. So that would shut off and then the high beams uh, engages, which is pretty cool. That's amazing. And now just get rid of the high beams. And uh, this is what he chose. Is matching his, uh... oh man, this looks really great. Come in the front and change him. So right now we have it kind of the battery. So make sure you guys turn them off from the app. Uh, this way your battery's not drained or anything like that But oof, that is super nice, bro. That is Look at give it the yellow one yellow the purple one look it matches your fog lights <laughs> That gives a super mean look right now the white even looks pretty nice, dude. Green looks like yeah, they all look good Bring the app in A little up, a little up. Yep Then you think you got some other stuff here, like 10. I don't know what this stuff does. I think. Like different colors. Oh, yeah, you, you got like custom colors over here in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, you changed the wheels too. You got some great stuff in it. This is daytime and it still looks really nice and bright. So imagine at nighttime, it's going to be really nice. And then make sure you shut it off from the app right there on top. Shuts it off just like that. Shut them on. Put them back on. And then you can just change any color you want. So that's that. And then we're just going to wait till it gets dark. We'll make the nighttime video with it. So I forgot to mention, when your uh, headlights are off, of course, check it out. Your daytime headlights will be on. And then the high beams, of course, as well. Now we just got to wait till nighttime. All right, so we got this from Home Depot. Like I told you guys, continue for the install. I know you guys don't want to do it to the battery, so I wanted to make a different, uh, well, another clip added to the video, connected to the fuse. So we're going to be taking that red all the way down to the fuse from the grommet. And the best way to do it is from going from in and out. I'll show you real quick. So I'm just going to grab some and drop it. It was only like $6 for like 24 feet, right? Yeah. So, like six and change. Yep. So just like that, put a little bit of tape on it. Make sure you guys 
do it like do it like this so you can take the tape off easily once once you see it outside there on the other end tape it good and then there's like a huge grommet area i showed you in the previous videos that's what i'm going to be going through i have a video on um hard wiring so just look at that video either way to see how i tap into the accessory feeling and then going down you guys probably can't see me down here with it but um let me let me get your lights on you let me get your phone you can stop the video all right so you see this is where i'm going from right here there's a grommet there's already a that zero wires going through right there anyway and that's the, it's gonna be a grommet there i push it through there and we're not gonna use all this wire here of course we're just gonna um show you where the outside where it's gonna end up at so looking for that piece it's right here Should be right under that corner. See that? That's where it should be. Just feel for the wire. Uh, and then. Alright, so I got that part. like that I'm gonna pull it out extra make sure we got enough room to play with and connect these right here all right so that wire tucked it in the back got it here I literally just tapped it in that fuse right here that I show you guys in several videos how I do the hard wire it's right here so it's pretty much connected to that red wire that the fuse has right here I'm gonna go push this guy in I wanted to show you guys that one was a little bit loose it's the fourth one I have a separate video on hard wire but it's the fourth one and we're in right there should be good to go and that's that and I'll show you where I zip tied the rest of it. All right, so that's how it's done. Put the zip tie, the extra wires right here. Go in here, the controller, we zip tied it here. The controller's right there. So make sure it's closer to the driver's side because you wanna make sure you have connectivity in there. And the connectivity goes about at least um, anywhere about, I would say 50 feet from the location here, as long as the hood is open, but I'm not sure how far it is when it's closed, but still you should have connectivity from the driver's side, pretty close there. And then you got the zip tied excessive wiring over there. Um, and the rest going inside there to the fuse that's connected. And um, let's go test it out with the car turned on. All right, so he's gonna go ahead to turn off the accessory mode and everything should go off. These are pretty bright, I like that. So accessory modes are off. Uh, there you go it's fixed and then you don't have to turn it off by app and turn it back on every time you get to get to the car just start start the car or even accessories and those they should uh turn on and um yeah just uh put the accessory on the headlights are on only because of that timer the automatic shut off timer that's why they're on but um accessories going on and there you go and they're turned back on easily so that's that and uh, they're pretty bright at night. Looks really good. Try to change the contrast to show you guys the brightness of it. Yeah, they look really great, actually. Look at that. Like they're bright, bright. So that's that. That's green. Got the red. Got the blue. That matches the fog lights a little bit. Looks pretty aggressive. 
and then he's got some strobe flashing yo do the do the red and the blue flashing <laughs> if you're at a car meet or whatever you're pulling in go for it but i don't advise doing that on the roads <laughs> you might get pulled over easily but at a car show or whatever go for it that was dope yeah because you can change oh, it you can change different too solid like that if oh you pull it up it'll blink faster and faster oh that's nice you can change the speed and everything change the brightness oh wow there you go change the brightness of it too it's pretty cool and again link is gonna be in the description below uh make sure you guys use a discount code and that's that